In order to continue with our server management application, in this video, we are going to create a static servers repository so that we can work with some data. So we can do that inside the models folder. And let's create a class and let's call it servers repository. And I've prepared some code already. So I'm going to just copy and paste that over here. And then I'm going to go through this quickly with you. So we have some data seated here. We have 15 servers and then we have a add server method, a get servers function, get servers by city function, get server by ID, update server and delete server, and also search servers. So let's go through that quickly. Add server here, we're just getting the maximum ID, then populate that server and add it. Right? Add this object to our servers variable here. Now, get servers is very simple, just return all of the servers. And get servers by city, we're using link to query the servers variable, and we're using equals to compare the city name, and we're getting the servers that belong to the city. And get server by ID, of course, we're doing first or default. Again, we're using link. And if it's not now, then we are going to create a new server object. Here's pretty special because if we just return this server, then anything that is uh, changed inside this variable will also change the corresponding object inside this server's list. So that's not something I want. Therefore, I'm creating a new server object and just populating the, each one of the properties. Update server is quite obvious. Delete server also. And search servers, we're just using contains in the link function here. Because this is a static class with a static variable here, so as long as the application is running, you are going to have this variable accessible in your application. But every time you start the application, it's going to return back to 15 items. So this is kind of a memory data store. Later, we're going to work with actual database but for now for teaching purpose it's better to use this static in-memory posture so that we can focus our energy on learning laser that's everything i want to cover in this video i will see you in the next one